welcome back to another video if you're new here my name is Erica and thank you all so much for coming back spending another day in the life with me um, it is Wednesday for me so it's Wednesday afternoon actually it's been raining and it's just one of those mornings where I did not want to go out go out and do anything I didn't do a whole lot I just kind of took it easy this morning did some planning had my planner my computer and stuff uh, it was just a very quiet morning and it was so nice to just take advantage of that but I do have a few errands I need to run the rain it, it's been raining but it's supposed to be picking up and it's gotten cold again yesterday it was 71 degrees I had my doors open we were on the front porch it was glorious and I am so excited for the warmer weather but you know it's still early March so you have some freezing cold days we've even had snow many times in March um, it doesn't look like we are this year though. They say winter is over for us. So I'm okay with that. I love spring so much. So bring on the warm weather and the sunshine and the flat, like my grass, I'll show you my grass is all of a sudden in the last week. It is like sprung up. It's all green. It's starting to turn so fast. So once we do like that first mow outside, it's so beautiful. It looks like carpet. It's my favorite. And then we have to get out here and do a lot of work on the patio and like power wash and clean it all off and then get it ready for us to enjoy but I'm excited for that so anyway I got Oliver and Clyde right here wanting to go out but um, I just thought I'd say hi welcome you back before I head out I've got some errands to run and I'll pick Jackson up and then we'll be back home I almost forgot my earrings can't forget my earrings if you missed my um, bedroom makeover video Go check it out. I love the way that it turned out so much. It just feels like a grown-up bedroom now, you know. I love it, and it also seems way less cluttered and stuff. I did have, I was reading all the comments last night, and lots of different suggestions or comments, or most of you all were just, like, saying you love it, and I did, what, what was it, something I wanted, oh, a couple of you said I should move one of the dressers out, but we're not doing that. We need the dressers very much. That's Marion's. This one's mine. We can't have just one together. It's just not going to work. So it is a very small room, but it's just what we're used to. We've lived here 20 years. It's what we're used to. I also, some of you suggested that I have Marion put shelves in here in this back closet. And we actually did have shelves in there at one time. It is a good idea, but we took them down and for, just for different reasons and I have never had him put them back up. It is kind of like a little bit of a wasted space back there. So I feel like we need to do something, but I'm not exactly sure like what's the best use of it. But my actual dream would be to rip this whole closet right here out and it would extend the room by a couple feet because this was an addition onto the house. Um, we didn't do it, but the previous owners did. And so, but then we would not have a closet. So I have another, um, way we where we would make a closet but that is like not on the not in the in the works right now I would love to do it but it would be pretty expensive so um yeah I'd love to do that but you know maybe one day so but anyways um if you didn't check that video out check it out I got my um slurpee my coke slurpee I always say I don't drink coffee <laughs> I don't get like a Starbucks or Dunkin Donuts, but I do like my occasional Coke Slurpee. So when I'm driving around, running errands, doing all the things, that's what I like to get. Even though it's cold today, it's still delicious. I am going to run into Ollie's. I have about a half an hour before I have to get Jackson, so I thought I'd go in there. I like to go in there, I've said it a lot of times, before I grocery shop because they have really good deals sometimes on like 
closeouts that they'll get. So like I can get cereal really cheap. Just other stuff. You never know. It's always different. So I thought I always like to come in here at least once before I do my big grocery shopping. I got these for a dollar last time I was here. They are so good, but I cannot get them because I will want to eat them. So good. to feed the babies as soon as I got home and it oh I never showed you the um grass I told you the grass is growing in it's hard to see through the screen but usually like right at the beginning of March we start to see little pops of green all along here um, is where it comes in the first it's where it's the thickest but we'll get out here and mow it in a few weeks it's gonna be so so nice and then we'll get all of this all cleaned off come on stinky come on it's pouring down rain on you Come on. You say hi to Ollie. You didn't want to go outside. Okay, we'll get a treat. Good boy. Y'all, when I was out today, I pulled out my camera and when I was at 7 Eleven, is crooked and I was filming like my when I was getting my drink I opened my camera the lens and it was really hard to open and I didn't think anything of it and then I got in the car and realized that one of the screws from the back fell out so I had to go back in see if I could find it of course I couldn't because it's the size of like it's microscopic practically so I could not find it so my camera is all wonky the screen in the back I don't think it affects anything that y'all see but when I see me I'm all crooked so I have to be super careful with it these vlog cameras take a beating let me tell you if you're a vlogger you understand these cameras have to hold up to a lot um it I literally have just been sitting for the last like two hours just sitting today like I said was just one of those days I needed I needed a break I needed yeah I didn't realize I didn't realize but also I got that icy and I don't drink like full-on soda very often so I it was just, I've just been like feeling jittery from the caffeine so I just needed to sit for a little while feeling better now but I'm gonna make dinner and I'm gonna use these non this non bread it's the garlic non I got from Aldi and I'm just gonna do some pizzas last night I made those um, hummus chicken non wraps again they were so good if you saw that video recently um, they were amazing so I was like I have half the stuff left over so I'm gonna make them again and so I made like a bunch of chicken last night and I that way I don't have to make any chicken tonight so I'm gonna do some of these are gonna be barbecue chicken because 
well, I love it too, but Marion really loves barbecue chicken pizza. And then I love um, margarita pizza, so I have some fresh mozzarella. I don't know if my basil's any good. Um, I just put like tomato sauce. I like just tomato sauce on it with margarita. It's just um, like fresh basil, fresh mozzarella, and tomato. And then I'll do a barbecue barbecue chicken with red onions on another one. So super easy. I'm really hungry. You can hear Marion's saw probably. He's downstairs. If you saw that little wooden bird I showed you in my clean and decorate video, my spring clean and decorate, he used it as a template and he's cutting out some more for me. So I'm going to stain them probably tonight and then probably have to wait till tomorrow to paint them and then I'm gonna like sand them scuff them up a little bit so in my next video after this is my Easter decorating so I'm gonna uh, show you what they look like we'll finish them up in that video but they're gonna be so cute so right now I gotta make dinner because Marion and Jackson both have to leave before too long So I did put a ton of mozzarella. I just used all of the fresh mozzarella. It's very watery, so when it cooks down, when it melts, there's gonna be lots of juice. I don't have to let it sit, I know this, but it's still so good. I just love this fresh mozzarella. And it doesn't have a whole lot of flavor, so I like to put salt and pepper on my margarita pizza. I didn't, my fresh basil had gone bad, but that's okay, because it wasn't really my fave. I don't love Italian seasonings that much. So this is the little bird I was talking about. I got it at Hobby Lobby. I keep showing this. I feel like if y'all, those of you who watch every video, you're like, yeah, we've seen it. <laughs> um, and it's kind of got a little bit of a whitewash. It's a little bit darker wood. So he just made this one. I kind of like traced that one like a little bit bigger. And um, I'm going to also have one exactly like this. So it's downstairs. I think I might, I don't know if I'm going to paint that one, but I'm going to stain them after I eat dinner and let them dry overnight and then we'll paint them and then I want to I'm thinking I'll do like a color probably won't do white and then I'll distress them like this I just like that chippy look so I love decorating I've always loved little birds I have a lot of little glass or ceramic ones I have a whole lot more that I haven't used but I don't know why but I've always loved little birds Those little wooden ones will be really cute so here they are out of the oven. You can see this is really juicy. So I'm gonna let that sit for a little while and you know, get a little bit more firm. But these look so good. My whole house smells so good. It's the onions. Oh, so good. I already took a few bites, but there's the margarita pizza and then the barbecue chicken. They're both delicious if you've never made pizza with non bread it's so easy and this is the garlic non so it's even more flavorful it's so good all right so this is usually my favorite and it was delicious but i think tonight it was this one that was so good perfect amount of sauce and cheese and the onions were so good um anyway marion just left with jackson so i'm going to save any if anybody wants any when they get home but there will be enough left over for tomorrow for, or for lunch tomorrow so that's nice I don't have too much to clean up. My dishwasher is almost full, so we'll stick in what will fit, and then the rest I'll have to wash by hand. 
before I get all this cleaned up, I'm going to have one of my peanut butter and jelly bars. I made these in a recent vlog and I just cut them up and froze them. So I just thawed this one out so I can have din uh, dessert tonight. So I'm down in the basement now. Um, these are all my like craft paints. I don't use them that often anymore. I used to use them way more often, but I was trying to pick out a few colors to maybe paint the birds after I um, after I stain them. Let's see. I don't know if I want to. I think I want to maybe use some like actual like paint that I have instead of these, just because I know I have better colors yeah these are all kind of a little bit darker than I want a little bit wild that one's pretty so I know I've got like you know wall paint that in pretty colors like all right I just got my, my icy teal which is my favorite color um, used this in my kitchen the, this is the color of my back door it's such a beautiful shade of like bluish turquoise kind of so I'm gonna probably use that on these but I won't do that till tomorrow but I think I'm going to stain all three of them and I just have this early American I think there is hardly any left I think I can get, hopefully can get enough out to just do these tonight okay take two we're going to use dark walnut because that's what I have and it's just going to be the under coat anyway it'll show through when I sand off the paint easy enough I love staining compared to painting I much prefer staining it's so easy and so quick and you don't even have to use a brush so with that I think I'm gonna end the video because it's already 730 and I have about three hours worth of editing to do tonight it's yeah it's gonna be a while so I am just <laughs> 
story of my life. They're all around me. Here comes Chloe. Um, come on. Come on, Coco. Come on. They always have to be right with me, and Clyde's right over there sleeping on the chair. But um, make sure that you come back for my next video because I'll be putting some Easter decorations up. And Because, you know, Easter is in March this year. It's already March 6th for me. It's today the 6th. Yeah, so i got to get this Easter decor up because it's going to be time to take it down <laughs> before I get it up. So um, I'll be doing that in my next video. I'm also going to share another dessert recipe. And Patrick will be here. It'll be a fun one. So make sure that you come back. You just wanted to say hi to everybody. So many of you commented when I was talking about how Clyde bullies her. So, 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 so many of you have had the same issue. So it's good to know that it's not just him. And I just had never experienced it before. And I've had a lot of cats in my life. So I was really surprised to hear so many people say that. But my battery is flashing. So I'm going to say goodbye. But make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. You know I love y'all and I appreciate you. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.